द लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ आर बी सी इन नियोनेट्स ईज ए वन ट्वेंटी डेज बी ट्वेंटी डेज सी वन ट्वेंटी टू वन एटी डेज डी सिक्सटी टू एटी डेज एंड द आंसर ईज डी सिक्सटी टू एटी डेज द लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ आर बी सी इन नियोनेट्स ईज सिक्सटी टू एटी डेज maximum epcor score is a 7 b 6 c 10 d 12 and the answer is c 10 maximum epcor score is 10 epcor is an indirect measure of health of a newborn at birth including any damage to the brain around birth epcor stands for a appearance that is skin color p pulse g grimace a activity r respiration the epgor test is generally done on a newborn child at 1 and 5 minutes after birth and may be repeated later if the score is and remains low which drug is administered at birth to prevent the potential problem of abnormal bleeding a injection tranexamic acid b injection ethamsilate c injection streptokinase d injection vitamin k and the answer is d injection vitamin k in newborns vitamin k injections can prevent a now rare but potentially fatal bleeding disorder called vitamin k deficiency bleeding also known as hemorrhagic disease of the newborn babies can be given the injection in hospital after they are born a communicable disease included in six killer diseases is a chicken pox b typhoid C tuberculosis D hepatitis and the answer is C tuberculosis The primary objective of preparing this list of six killer diseases was to vaccinate all children below the age of 1 year against these diseases The list of six killer diseases include polio diphtheria tuberculosis pertussis measles and tetanus Measles vaccine is given at the age of a 10 weeks b 9 months c 16 to 24 months d 14 weeks and the answer is b 9 months Measles vaccine is given at the age of 9 months Measles is an infectious viral disease causing fever and a red rash typically occurring in childhood Giving the infant other foods and liquids along with breast milk is known as a formula feeding b complementary feeding c weaning d bilevel feeding and the answer is c weaning Weaning is a process by which a baby slowly gets used to adult foods and relies less and less on breast milk Milk ejection occurs due to hormone A prolactin B estrogen C vasopressin D oxytocin and the answer is D oxytocin Milk ejection occurs due to hormone oxytocin The drug of choice for neonatal seizures is A phenytoin B phenobarbitone C lorazepam D diazepam and the answer is B phenobarbitone The first choice of drug for neonatal seizures is phenobarbitone Phenobarbitone is the first drug of choice to treat neonatal seizures
Dilantine is often the second drug of choice to be added when seizures are not controlled by phenobarbitone alone. Lorazepam is useful for infants with uncontrolled seizures in spite of therapy with phenobarbitone and dilantine. Angaru mother care is a way of protecting the baby from A. Hypoglycemia B. Hyperglycemia C. Hyperthermia D. Hypothermia And the answer is D. Hypothermia Kangaroo mother care is a way of protecting the baby from hypothermia. Kangaroo care or kangaroo mother care, sometimes called skin to skin care, is a technique of newborn care where babies are kept skin to skin with a parent, typically their mother. It is most commonly used for low birth weight preterm babies who are more likely to suffer from hypothermia. while admitted to a neonatal unit to keep the baby warm and support early breastfeeding. The condition in which tuft of hair is seen growing on the back is A. Spina bifida cystica B. Hydrocephalus C. Spina bifida occulta D. Epilepsy And the answer is C. Spina bifida occulta The condition in which a tuft of hair is seen growing on the back is spina bifida occulta. There are three types of spina bifida. Myelomeningocele, meningocele and spina bifida occulta. Spina bifida occulta is the mildest form of spina bifida. It can be termed as hidden spina bifida as it cannot be seen outside like it is for other spina bifida types as it is covered by skin. Position preferred to feed a baby having cleft palate is A. Supine position B. Upright position C. Prone position D. Side lying position And the answer is B. Upright position The position preferred to feed a baby having cleft palate is upright position. The most immediate concern for a baby with cleft palate is good nutrition. Sucking for children with a cleft palate is difficult because of the poorly formed roof of the mouth. Children with only cleft lip does not have feeding difficulties. But the children with cleft palate do have feeding difficulties. Holding your infant in an upright position will prevent the food from coming out of the nose. Infants in the age of 6 to 12 months should be given vitamin A in a dose of A. 1 lakh international units B. 2 lakh international units C. 50,000 international units D. 25,000 international units And the answer is A. 1 lakh international units Infants in the age of 6 to 12 months should be given vitamin A in a dose of 1 lakh international units. Vitamin A promotes normal growth and development, tissue and bone repair, and healthy skin, eyes and immune responses. Milk ejection reflex is also known as A. Letdown reflex B. Moro reflex C. Oxytocin reflex D. Both A and C And the answer is D. Both A and C Milk ejection reflex is also known as letdown reflex or oxytocin reflex. Milk ejection reflex is a reflex stimulated by suckling of the baby and mediated by oxytocin which is produced by hypothalamus and posterior pituitary. With the help of oxytocin, the milk is moved from the breast alveoli into the milk ducts from where it is discharged through the nipple pores for the baby to drink. Milk ejection reflex is a reflex stimulated by suckling of the baby and mediated by oxytocin which is produced by hypothalamus and posterior pituitary. With the help of oxytocin, the milk is moved from the breast alveoli into the milk ducts from where it is discharged through the nipple pores for the baby to drink.
the shunt that is most commonly used in management of hydrocephalus is a ventricular pleural shunt b ventricular peritoneal shunt c ventricular atrial shunt d ventricular ureteric shunt and the answer is b ventricular peritoneal shunt also called vp shunt the shunt that is most commonly used in management of hydrocephalus is vp shunt that is ventricular peritoneal shunt ventricular peritoneal shunt or vp shunting is a surgical procedure that primarily treats a condition called hydrocephalus this condition occurs when excess cerebrospinal fluid collects in the brain's ventricles Ventricular peritoneal shunt placement is a procedure to help remove excess fluid in the brain that is accumulated in the form of hydrocephalus. The shunt consists of a catheter that is tube, a valve and a reservoir. An example of congenital disorder of nervous system is a spina bifida b tetanus c poliomyelitis d all the above and the answer is a spina bifida an example of congenital disorder of the nervous system is spina bifida spina bifida is a neural tube defect a type of birth defect of the brain spine or spinal cord It happens if the spinal column of the fetus does not close completely during the first month of pregnancy. This can damage the nerves and spinal cord. A congenital defect leading to stridor is A. Laryngomalacia B. Tracheoesophageal fistula C. Schoenal atresia D. Esophageal atresia And the answer is A. Laryngomalacia A congenital defect leading to stridor is laryngomalacia. Laryngomalacia is a condition most common in young babies. It's an abnormality in which the tissue just above the vocal cords is especially soft. This softness causes it to flop into the airway when taking a breath. This can cause partial blockage of the airway leading to noisy breathing especially when a child is on their back. The main symptom of laryngomalacia is noisy breathing, also known as stridor. Stridor is a high-pitched sound heard when your child inhales. For a child born with laryngomalacia, stridor may be obvious at birth. In children, which disease occur due to protein deficiency? A. Marasmus B. Quarshiakar C. Beriberi D. Scurvy And the answer is B. Quarshiakar The disease that occurs in children due to protein deficiency is Quarshiakar. Quarshiakar is a condition resulting from inadequate protein intake. Early symptoms include fatigue, irritability and lethargy. As protein deprivation continues, one sees growth failure, loss of muscle mass, generalized edema and decreased immunity. A large protuberant belly is common. The most preferred intramuscular injection site for children and infant is A. Deltoid site B. Ventrogluteal site C. Dorsogluteal site D. Vastus lateralis site And the answer is D. Vastus lateralis site The most preferred intramuscular injection site for children and infant is vastus lateralis site. Never give an IM injection in the buttocks for an infant. Using the vastus lateralis muscle avoids the risk of sciatic nerve damage from gluteal region. Also, the vastus lateralis muscle has a larger muscle mass than the gluteal region.
and therefore has reduced risk of severe local reactions. At what angle are intradermal injections given? A. 90 degrees angle B. 30 degrees angle C. 15 degrees angle D. 45 degrees angle And the answer is C. 15 degrees angle Intradermal injections are given at an angle of 15 degrees. In an intradermal injection, medication is delivered directly into the dermis, the layer just below the epidermis of the skin. The injection is often given at an angle of 10 to 15 degree, with the needle placed almost flat against the patient's skin. Intradermal route has the longest absorption time as compared to subcutaneous injections and intramuscular injections. As a result, it is used for sensitivity tests like tuberculin and allergy tests. Anorexia means A. Loss of appetite B. Absence of respiration C. Loss of sensation D. Absence of pulse And the answer is a. Loss of appetite Anorexia means loss of appetite Anorexia is also called anorexia nervosa. Anorexia is an eating disorder characterized by an abnormally low body weight, an intense fear of gaining weight and a distorted perception of weight. Cone-shaped medicated solid mass which is introduced into the rectum is known as a. Enema B. Catheter C. Flatus tube D. Suppository And the answer is D. Suppository Cone-shaped medicated solid mass which is introduced into the rectum is known as Suppository Rectal suppositories are solid forms of medication that are inserted into the rectum. They come in different shapes and sizes, but they are usually narrowed at one end. Rectal suppositories can deliver many types of medication. For example, they may contain glycerin to treat constipation or may contain acetaminophen to treat a fever. Medication from a rectal suppository tends to work quickly. This is because the suppository melts inside the body and is absorbed directly into the bloodstream. When a drug is to be given at bedtime, which of the following coded instruction is used? A. AC B. HS C. OD D. SOS And the answer is B. HS when a drug is to be given at bedtime, HS is the coded instruction used. HS means at bedtime or just before sleep. During ABG analysis, blood is collected from A. Vein B. Artery C. Capillary D. It can be taken from any body site. And the answer is B. Artery During ABG analysis, blood is collected from an artery. An ABG is a blood test that measures the acidity or pH and the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide from an artery. The test is used to check the function of the patient's lungs and how well they are able to move oxygen in and remove carbon dioxide out of the body. Intraosseous injection is given in A. Vein B. Spinal cavity C. Bone marrow D. Muscles And the answer is C. Bone marrow Intraosseous injection is given in the bone marrow Intraosseous access is an effective route for fluid resuscitation drug delivery and laboratory evaluation that may be attained in all age groups and has an acceptable safety profile. 
in the scenario of cardiac arrest, decompensated shock or in any other emergency if we are unable to secure a IV cannula within 90 seconds, intraosseous access is the recommended technique for circulatory access. An antidote of heparin is A. Vitamin K B. Protamine sulfate C. Thrombin D. Adrenaline And the answer is B. Protamine sulfate The antidote of heparin is Protamine sulfate In heparin overdose, the body is unable to deploy its natural defense against hemorrhage that is excessive bleeding and life-threatening blood loss can occur quickly. To save the patient from hypovolemic shock which can be caused by excessive bleeding, protamine sulfate is used as an antidote of heparin which stops the excessive loss of blood. Most common complication of spinal anesthesia is A. Anorexia B. Hypertension C. Hypotension D. Mental confusion And the answer is C. Hypotension The most common complication of spinal anesthesia is hypotension. The degree of hypotension is greater at higher levels of spinal anesthesia. It is concluded that the cause of the significant decrease in blood pressure during high spinal anesthesia is mostly due to blockade of the cardiac sympathetic nerve. For effective sterilization, temperature in an autoclave should be A. 100 degrees Celsius B. 121 degrees Celsius C. 110 degrees Celsius D. 90 degrees Celsius And the answer is B. 121 degrees Celsius For effective sterilization, temperature in an autoclave should be 121 degrees Celsius a very basic autoclave is similar to a pressure cooker. Both use the power of steam to kill bacteria, spores and germs resistant to boiling water and powerful detergents. Who is called the father of medicine? A. Aristotle B. Lord Lister C. Hippocrates D. Darwin And the answer is C. Hippocrates The blood vessel which connect the artery and vein A. Venule B. Arteriole C. Capillary D. Sinus And the answer is C. Capillary The term oophorectomy means A. Removal of ovary B. Removal of fallopian tube C. Inflammation of ovary D. Removal of uterus And the answer is A. Removal of ovary The most common mode of transmission of polio is A. Droplet B. Fecooral C. Parenteral D. By infected articles And the answer is B. Fecooral Freedom from infection is called A. Asepsis B. Antisepsis C. Sepsis D. Bacteriostasis And the answer is A. Asepsis Mechanical device used to prevent foot drop is A. Bed block B. Backrest C. Footrest D. Knee rest And the answer is C. Footrest Concentration of sodium in the body less than normal is known as A. Hypernatremia B. Hyponatremia C. Orthonatremia D. Tachynatremia And the answer is B. Hyponatremia Testosterone is secreted by A. Penis B. Spermatic cord C. Interstitial cells of Leydig D. Testis And the answer is C. Interstitial cells of Leydig Longest and strongest bone of the body is a. Femur B. Humerus C. Tibia D. Fibula 
and the answer is a femur. The antidote of morphine overdose is a n acetylcysteine, b naloxone, c atropin sulfate, d esmolol, and the answer is b naloxone. Malaria is caused by a bacteria, b protozoan, c virus, d fungus, and the answer is protozoan, b. Phototherapy is used for the treatment of A. Caesars, B. Hypoglycemia, C. Jaundice, D. Poisoning and the answer is C. Jaundice. Which bone is also known as cheek bone? A. Vomer, B. Zygomatic, C. Palatine, D. Maxilla and the answer is B. Zygomatic bone. Fertilization occurs in A. Uterus, B. Fallopian tube, C. Pelvis, D. Vagina and the answer is B. Fallopian tube. Intra-aortic balloon pump IABP is most often used in the management of A. Congestive heart failure, B. Cardiogenic shock, C. Pulmonary edema, D. Aortic insufficiency. And the answer is B. Cardiogenic shock. Intra-aortic balloon pump IABP is most often used in the management of cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock occurs if the heart suddenly cannot pump enough oxygen-rich blood to the body. The most common cause of cardiogenic shock is damage to the heart muscle from a severe heart attack. This damage prevents the heart's main pumping chamber, the left ventricle, from working well. The intra-aortic balloon pump IABP is a mechanical device that increases myocardial oxygen perfusion and indirectly increases cardiac output through afterload reduction. It consists of a cylindrical polythene balloon that sits in the iota, approximately 2 cm from the left subclavian artery. It helps your heart pump more blood. The heart is the special area in the right atrium containing special nerves in which the regulation of systole can be maintained. A. Sinoatrial node B. Atrioventricular node C. Atrioventricular bundle D. Purkinje fibers And the answer is A. Sinoatrial node Sinoatrial node is the special area in the right atrium containing special nerves in which the regulation of systole can be maintained. The sinoatrial node, also called SA node, is literally the pacemaker of the heart. It regulates heart rate through specialized conduction and first communicates to the atria, causing them to contract, and then communicates to the atrioventricular node, which in turn communicates to the ventricles, causing them to contract. Which emergency drug is used for the immediate management of SVT? Supraventricular tachycardia A. Injection atropine B. Injection nicorandyl C. Injection adenosine D. Injection heparin And the answer is C. Injection adenosine The emergency drug which is used for the immediate management of SVT is injection adenosine. Injection adenosine slows conduction time through the AV node, can interrupt the re-entry pathways through the AV node, and can restore normal sinus rhythm in patients with paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia (PSVT), including PSVT associated with Wolff-Parkinson-White syndrome.
what is dextrocardia a heart situated in the right side b heart situated below diaphragm c heart situated above the sternum d heart rate is abnormal and the answer is a heart situated in the right side normally the heart points towards the left side of the chest but in a rare condition the heart points towards the right side and this rare condition is called as dextrocardia which of the following is not a risk factor of atherosclerosis a obesity b smoking c stress d diet low in fat and the answer is d diet low in fat diet low in fat is not a risk factor of atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is a disease of the arteries characterized by the deposition of fatty material on their inner walls hence having a diet low in fat only decreases the risk of atherosclerosis which of the following is the complication of myocardial infarction a heart failure b arrhythmias c cardiogenic shock d all of the above and the answer is d all of the above heart failure arrhythmias and cardiogenic shock are all the complications of myocardial infarction after birth which anatomical hole closes as to allow proper functioning of the lungs a foramen oval b oblique oval c atrial oval d circumflex oval and the answer is a foramen oval foramen oval is the anatomical hole which allows the proper functioning of the lungs after it closes the foramen oval is an important structure in the fetal heart allowing blood to flow directly into the left atrium from the right atrium blood is directly bypassed due to the fact the lungs of the fetus do not breathe while in the womb and the blood is oxygenated by the maternal lungs therefore it is not necessary for the blood of the fetus to divert to its own lungs via the right atrium instead it goes directly to the left atrium an inflammation of middle layer of heart is known as a endocarditis b myocarditis c pericarditis d none of these and the answer is b myocarditis inflammation of middle layer of heart is known as myocarditis myocarditis also known as inflammatory cardiomyopathy is inflammation of the heart muscle clinical features of schizophrenia include a hallucination b delusions c confused thoughts d all and the answer is d all people with schizophrenia hears sees smells and feels things which no one else does they believe in things that are not true they have confusing thoughts trouble concentrating and other symptoms the group of drugs most commonly used to treat schizophrenia a antimania drugs b antidepressant drugs c antipsychotic drugs d analgesics and the answer is c antipsychotic drugs antipsychotics are also known as neuroleptics or anti schizophrenia drugs or major tranquilizers they are thought to control symptoms by affecting the brain neurotransmitter dopamine the disease characterized by four a's of buller is a obsessive compulsive disorder b schizophrenia c delirium d maniac depressive psychosis and the answer is b schizophrenia the disease characterized by four a's of buller is schizophrenia buller defined schizophrenia as a group of diseases rather than just one disorder he defined the main symptoms of the disease as the four a's associations effect ambivalence and autism 
the alcohol sensitizing drug that is used for the treatment of alcoholism is a phenobarbitone b disulfiram c carbamazepine d haloperidol and the answer is b disulfiram the alcohol sensitizing drug that is used for the treatment of alcoholism is disulfiram disulfiram an alcohol sensitizing drug that may lower your desire to drink by making you sick when you consume alcohol when combined with alcohol it can cause flushing nausea vomiting and headaches most severe withdrawal syndrome of alcohol is a delirium tremens b rum fits c cirrhosis of liver d alcoholic hallucinosis and the answer is a delirium tremens the most severe type of withdrawal syndrome is known as delirium tremens the signs and symptoms of delirium tremens include extreme confusion extreme agitation fever seizures tactile hallucinations auditory hallucinations and visual hallucinations partial or complete absence of memory is known as a hyperamnesia b paramnesia c amnesia d anemia and the answer is c amnesia partial or complete absence of memory is known as amnesia amnesia refers to any instance in which memories stored in the long term memory are completely or partially forgotten usually due to brain injury personality disorder in which an individual suspects that other people will harm him is a cyclothymic b hypomania c melancholic d paranoid and the answer is d paranoid personality disorder in which an individual suspects that other people will harm him is paranoid individuals with this disorder assume that other people will exploit harm or deceive them even if no evidence exists to support this expectation delirium is a disorder of a consciousness b perception c memory d thought and the answer is a consciousness delirium is a disorder of consciousness delirium is a condition of severe confusion and rapid changes in brain function disorder of consciousness in which patient remains motionless and mute is a confusion b clouding of consciousness c hallucination d stupor and the answer is d stupor disorder of consciousness in which patient remains motionless and mute is stupor stupor is a state of unresponsiveness in which a person seems unaware of the surroundings In this state there will be total immobility along with mutism and weakened responses to all kinds of stimuli such a patient can for a comparatively long period of time not eat not speak very often can be frozen in one position a mental illness characterized by a persistent preoccupation with the fear of having serious disease is known as a obsessive compulsive disorder b phobia c hypochondriasis d anxiety and the answer is c hypochondriasis a mental illness characterized by a persistent preoccupation with the fear of having serious disease is known as hypochondriasis hypochondriasis is also called illness anxiety disorder a condition in which a person continuously worries about their health believing that they have a serious health problem which is not true in the first place contraindication of electroconvulsive therapy is a raised intracranial pressure b myocardial infraction c severe hypertension d all and the answer is d all raised intracranial pressure myocardial infraction severe hypertension all are the contraindications of electroconvulsive therapy electroconvulsive therapy is also called electroshock therapy sometimes referred to as shock treatment A brief seizure is induced by giving electrical stimulation to the brain through electrodes placed on the scalp. 
electroconvulsive therapy is given to provide relief from mental disorders such as major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, acute psychosis and catatonia. Extrapyramidal symptoms occur as side effects of A. Antidepressants B. Lithium C. Antipsychotics D. Spinal anesthesia And the answer is C. Antipsychotics Antipsychotic medications commonly produced extrapyramidal symptoms as side effects. Extrapyramidal symptoms include acute dykinesias, dystonic reactions, tardive dyskinesia, Parkinsonism, echinacea, akathisia and neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Who is the founder of psychoanalysis? A. Buller B. Sigmund Freud C. Erickson D. Hippocrates And the answer is B. Sigmund Freud Sigmund Freud is the founder of psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis is the treatment of a patient who has mental problems. By asking them about their feelings and their past in order to try to discover what may be causing their problem. Term dipsomania means A. Maniac conditions B. Compulsive drinking C. Extreme fear D. Panic attacks And the answer is B. Compulsive drinking Term dipsomania means compulsive drinking. Dipsomania is a medical condition involving a strong, uncontrollable need or craving to drink alcohol. In the following, which is the major indication of electroconvulsive therapy? A. Severe depression with suicidal risk B. Severe mania C. Phobia D. Hysteria And the answer is A. Severe depression with suicidal risk Electroconvulsive therapy may be the first line of treatment for life-threatening depression. Causative organism of syphilis is A. Chlamydia trachomatis B. Trepanoma pallidum C. Fox virus D. Haemophilus ducreyi And the answer is B. Trepanoma pallidum The causative organism of syphilis is Trepanoma pallidum Syphilis is a highly contagious disease spread primarily by sexual activity including oral and anal sex. Occasionally, the disease can be passed to another person through prolonged kissing or close bodily contact. Symptoms are small painless sores which are seen in stage 1. In stage 2, we can see rashes all over the body. If left untreated in stage 3, the internal organs will be affected. Inflammation of the fallopian tube is called A. Appendicitis B. Cholecystitis C. Salpingitis D. Endometritis And the answer is C. Salpingitis Inflammation of the fallopian tube is called salpingitis. Salpingitis is caused by bacterial infections. Common causes of salpingitis include sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. pH of normal semen is A. 3.5 to 4.5 B. 5.5 to 6.5 C. 7.2 to 7.8 D. 8.5 to 9.3 and the answer is C. 7.2 to 7.8 Potential of hydrogen of normal semen is 7.2 to 7.8 Causative organism responsible for moniliasis is A. Candida albicans B. Tinea cruris C. Staphylococcus aureus D. Gonococci And the answer is A. Candida albicans Causative organism responsible for moniliasis is Candida albicans. Moniliasis is also called Candidiasis. It is a fungal infection caused by Candida albicans. Common types of moniliasis that is Candidiasis are Vaginal yeast infection, Cutaneous Candidiasis and Oral thrush. What is the full form of DUB? A. Direct uterine bleeding B. Direct uterine blood vessels C. Dysfunctional uterine bleeding D. Dysfunctional uterine blood vessels And the answer is C. Dysfunctional uterine bleeding DUB stands for Dysfunctional uterine bleeding Dysfunctional uterine bleeding is also called Abnormal uterine bleeding AUB 
irregular bleeding can come at different times from month to month and last for different lengths of time. The amount of blood flow may vary from light to extremely heavy with large clots. In some people, the bleeding may be associated with uterine cramps. The first menstruation in a female is called A. Menarche B. Menopause C. Dysmenorrhea D. Amenorrhea And the answer is A. Menarche The first menstruation in a female is called Menarche. Menarche is the first menstrual cycle or the first menstrual bleeding in female humans. The most common cause of early miscarriage is A. Chromosomal abnormalities B. Cervical incompetence C. Infections D. Autoimmune disease And the answer is A. Chromosomal abnormalities The most common cause of miscarriage is chromosomal abnormalities. Miscarriage is also called spontaneous abortion. The main cause of miscarriage is attributed to chromosomal abnormalities in the embryos. Approximately 70-80% to 80 of miscarriages occur due to chromosomal defects in the embryo. Hydatidiform mole is a A. Respiratory disorder B. Abnormal mole found in brain C. Abnormal mole found in pituitary gland D. Abnormal condition of the placenta And the answer is D. Abnormal condition of the placenta Hydatidiform mole is a abnormal condition of the placenta a hydatidiform mole is a growth of an abnormal fertilized egg or an overgrowth of tissue from the placenta. In the following, which sentence is false regarding Lochia rubra? A. Color is red. B. Consists of blood and decidua. C. Yellowish or pink in color. D. Discharges during 1 to 4 days after delivery. And the answer is C. Yellowish or pink in color. Lochia rubra is the first discharge post-delivery. It is composed of blood, shreds of fetal membranes, decidua, vernix cachiosa, lanugo and membranes. It is red in color because of the large amounts of blood it contains. In the following, which is not a feature of true labor pains? A. Painful uterine contractions B. Progressive dilation of cervix C. Hardening of the uterus D. Presence of show And the answer is C. Hardening of the uterus Hardening of the uterus is not a feature of true labor pains. During true labor pains, intensity of contractions becomes stronger and stronger. Cervix progressively dilates. The mucus plug dislodges from your cervix, which is called show or a bloody show. The first hair to be produced by the fetal hair follicles, which usually appears on the fetus at about 5 months of gestation, is called A. Lochia B. Lanugo C. Lightening D. Quickening And the answer is B. Lanugo Lanugo is the first hair to be produced by the fetal hair follicles which usually appears on the fetus at about 5 months of gestation. In the following, which is not a pregnancy sign? A. Chadwick's sign B. Brudzinski sign C. Hager's sign D. Goodell's sign And the answer is B. Brudzinski sign Chadwick's sign, Hager's sign and Goodell's sign are the signs of pregnancy whereas Brudzinski sign is a sign of meningitis and not a sign of pregnancy. Urine containing HCG, human chorionic gonadotrophin is an important sign of A. Meningitis B. Acute renal failure C. Pregnancy D. Ovarian tumor And the answer is C. Pregnancy Human chorionic gonadotrophin is a hormone produced by the placenta after implantation. Hence, the presence of HCG in urine is a sign of pregnancy. The important feature of second trimester of pregnancy is A. Amenorrhea B. Quickening C. Vomiting D. Anorexia And the answer is B. Quickening Quickening is the important feature of second trimester of pregnancy. Quickening is the moment in pregnancy when the pregnant woman starts to feel or perceive fetal movements in the uterus. Which part of the nursing process includes the statement of the patient's actual or potential problems? A. Assessment B. Implementation C. Nursing diagnosis D. Planning And the answer is C. Nursing diagnosis 
nursing diagnosis is a statement which will give you the information about the potential problems the patient may face. It will help in planning and implementing patient care. Examination with the help of stethoscope is called A. Percussion B. Auscultation C. Palpation D. Manipulation And the answer is B. Auscultation Auscultation is the examination which is done with the help of stethoscope. Listening to the internal sounds of the body using a stethoscope is called auscultation. Auscultation is done usually to listen heart sounds, breath sounds and bowel sounds. Pus in the urine is called A. Enuria B. Dysuria C. Oliguria D. Pyuria And the answer is D. Pyuria Pus in urine is called pyuria. Pyuria is the condition that occurs when excess white blood cells or pus is present in the urine. The cloudy urine which is seen in pyuria frequently indicates the presence of urinary tract infection. It may also indicate sepsis, a life-threatening bacterial infection or pneumonia in older adults. Hayes test is the test for A. Albumin B. Acetone C. Bile salts D. Bile pigments And the answer is C. Bile salts Hayes test also known as Hayes sulfur flower test is a chemical test used for detecting the presence of bile salts in urine. Oral medication cannot be given to a patient having A. Diarrhea B. Vomiting C. Dysentery D. Abdominal distinction And the answer is B. Vomiting Oral medication cannot be given to a patient having vomiting. Inflammation of the mouth is called A. Stomatitis B. Gingivitis C. Glossitis D. Parotitis And the answer is A. Stomatitis The inflammation of the mouth is called stomatitis. Pulse rate less than 60 beats per minute is called A. Tachycardia B. Tachypnea C. Bradycardia D. Bradypnea And the answer is C. Bradycardia Pulse rate less than 60 beats per minute is called Bradycardia Rabies is caused by A. Snake bite B. Dog bite C. Insect bite D. Rat bite And the answer is B. Dog bite Rabies is a deadly virus spread to people from the saliva of infected animals. The rabies virus is usually transmitted through a bite. Animals most likely to transmit rabies include bats, coyotes, foxes, raccoons and skunks. But in developing countries like Africa, India, where dogs are not usually vaccinated, dogs are the most likely reason to spread rabies to people. On application of ice bag to a patient with fever, heat is transmitted through A. Conduction B. Convection C. Evaporation D. Radiation And the answer is A. Conduction On application of ice bag to a patient with fever, heat is transmitted through conduction. The transfer of heat directly from one object to the other which are in contact with each other is called conduction. Painful mixturation is called A. Dysuria B. Enuria C. Glycosuria D. Oliguria And the answer is A. Dysuria Painful mixturition that is urination is called dysuria. Dysuria is the medical term for pain, burning sensation or discomfort when urinating. Dysuria is most commonly caused by bacterial infections of the urinary tract and is a common symptom of bladder infection that is cystitis. Implementation of the nursing process involves A. Collection of data B. Giving actual nursing care C. Measuring effectiveness of nursing care D. Systematically developing goals And the answer is B. Giving actual nursing care Implementation of the nursing process involves giving actual nursing care. Implementation is the step in nursing care plan where the patient care plan is actually followed in action. Presence of sugar in the urine is called A. Renal threshold B. Glycosuria C. Oliguria D. Hematuria And the answer is B. Glycosuria the presence of sugar in the urine is called glycosuria.
presence of glucose that is increased sugar levels in urine is commonly seen in untreated diabetes mellitus. Miss Florence Nightingale was born on A. May 12th, 1620 B. May 12th, 1720 C. May 12th, 1820 D. May 12th, 1920 And the answer is C. May 12th, 1820 Miss Florence Nightingale was born on May 12th, 1820 Invasion of microorganisms to a susceptible host is called A. Infection B. Inflammation C. Infraction D. Contamination And the answer is A. Infection Invasion of microorganisms to a susceptible host is called infection. Infection is developed when microorganisms attack a vulnerable person, that is susceptible host, who is probably immunosuppressed. The smallest bone in the human body is A. Metacarpals B. Ribs C. Stapes D. Atlas and the answer is C. Stapes. The smallest bone in the human body is Stapes. Number of ribs in the human body are A. 2 pairs B. 3 pairs C. 6 pairs D. 12 pairs and the answer is D. 12 pairs. In the human body, there are 12 pairs of ribs. Number of false ribs in the human body are A. 2 pairs B. 5 pairs C. 6 pairs D. 12 pairs And the answer is B. 5 pairs The human body has 5 pairs of false ribs. In humans, there are normally 12 pairs of ribs. The first 7 pairs are attached directly to the sternum by the coastal cartilages and are called true ribs. The 8th, 9th and 10th pairs of ribs do not join the sternum directly but are connected to the 7th rib by the cartilage. Hence, they are called false ribs. The 11th and 12th pair of ribs are attached only to the vertebrae and do not attach to the sternum at all. Hence, they are called floating ribs and or false ribs. To conclude, human's ribcage has 5 pairs of false ribs. Largest joint in the human body is A. Hip joint B. Shoulder joint C. Knee joint D. Elbow joint And the answer is C. Knee joint The largest joint in the human body is knee joint. The knee joint, the largest joint in the body is a hinge joint consisting of 3 parts. The lower end of the thigh bone called the femur rotates on the upper end of the shin bone called the tibia and the knee cap or patella which slides in a groove on the end of the femur. The hematopoiesis in children occurs in the long bones that are A. Sternum and femur B. Scapula and tibia C. Tibia and femur D. Spine and femur And the answer is C. Tibia and femur Tibia and femur are the long bones in which hematopoiesis occurs in children. The process of formation of blood cells in the body is known as hematopoiesis, especially in the bone marrow. The total number of bones in a newborn baby are A. 260 bones B. 280 bones C. 206 bones D. 300 bones And the answer is D. 300 bones The total number of bones in a newborn baby are about 300 bones. A baby's skeleton is mostly made up of cartilage. As the baby grows up, most of the cartilage turns into bone in a process called ossification. By adulthood, these 300 bones of the baby decreases to about 206 bones. The internal framework of bones in the body is known as A. Biostructure B. Human Skeleton C. Remediation Structure D. Degradation Structure And the answer is B. Human Skeleton The internal framework of bones in the body is known as Human Skeleton
the divisions of human skeleton are a axial skeleton b appendicular skeleton c intercostal skeleton d both a and b and the answer is d both a and b the divisions of human skeleton are the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton the human skeleton has two major divisions one is axial skeleton and the second is appendicular skeleton